Alright everyone, we're back here with Call of Juarez. We're ready to play. This is walkthrough part two to help guide you through this lonely and desolate highway. Alright, shit. They throw us right into the action. Alright, uh, we getting smoked by son of a bitch. In for the kill. <laughs> yeah, see how pretty. Damn, I'm getting blasted for some reason. Son. God damn him! Come out, you yellow bastard! Right here! Cover your hands! I'm here! On your tail! Okay. We can get you to get away! I don't know where they're coming from. My murderer. You know I killed time. I'm not the lights out. And she's still shot. I'm gonna wing this some western shit. We play, we play hard. Water looks nice. Finally, I found what I was looking for. The stables on the edge of town. I guess Billy saved your ass. 
taking out Bob Ollinger the way he did. Billy didn't kill Bob. Well, sure he did. He dispatched him right after he shot Deputy Bell. No, sir. Because Bob came right up behind me, angry as hell that Billy had lit out. Hello, Bob. I said, I think you better let me go. And he says, I don't think so, boy. Not with my shotgun. Oh shit, not so my shotgun. So we stood there in the middle of the street, eyeball to eyeball. He intended to kill me, and I knew I had no choice but to defend myself. Oh shit, it's going down. Both got blasted. <laughs> Damn, son, I don't want to die like that. <laughs> yeah. Show down the Wild West. Is this? Some say I fought unfairly. But they weren't the ones looking him in the eye. That's what I'm saying. Pat Garrett gunned down Billy three months later. So his escape was all for naught anyway. There we go, go in. Mama always said so where'd you go after Lincoln? Mexico. Until I realized nobody was looking for me. I ended up taking a job at the Rurales. The Mexican Rurales? I was hired to help them track down the cowboys. The most vicious outlaw gang in Cochise County? Curly Bill Brocious, Johnny Ringo? Led by old man Clan himself. They must have paid you a pretty penny to take them hombres on. Not really. But truth be told, I had my own reasons for going after those boys. Oh shit. Okay, well, that's the end of that chapter. We're gonna try this one. Oh, Lord. So was the bastard you were after now riding with the cowboys? Roscoe Bob Bryant was his name. Oh. But no, this time it was a different bastard I was after. The aforementioned Mr. Ringo. And yes, he was working for old man Clown. I came upon them robbing a stagecoach, which wasn't surprising being they were such murderous thieves and bastards. The bandits wore red scarves, so I knew they worked for the old man. Over there! There! I did my best to help those poor bastards. Moments later, the attackers were dead, and I checked the stagecoach to see how many passengers were still breathing. None. It was then I wondered if the rocks weren't hiding more bandits. Was that all of them? 
Or did I just hit the rear guard? I quickly got my answer. They attack from on high like Apaches often do. They would appear in great numbers from above and rain down lead on their hapless enemies' heads. Making use of the high ground, whatever else they have. Yep, the Apaches always appear out of nowhere, and there never seemed to be an end to them. Hold on, were you attacked by Apaches? What happened to the Cowboys? Did I say they were Apaches? I said Clanton's Cowboys attacked me Apache style. I was in a pitched battle, but I was holding my own against an overwhelming enemy force. See, at the time, I was still pretty green, and would often blunder into regrettable situations. But I just kept shooting at anything I could see up in those damn rocks. I didn't see Ringo, but I knew he was with the cowboy. He and Roscoe Bob had done me a dreadful wrong, and I was determined to have my revenge. But to get to Ringo, I knew I'd have to fight my way past these other assholes first. Unfortunately, I was running out of ammo. Yeah, Another perfect example of my relative inexperience as a hunter of men. I immediately knew that a tactical retreat was called for, as my vengeful fury was much less impressive without the bullets to back it up. Finally, they managed to corner me. Trapped as I was, the odds of my survival seemed pretty slim. Luckily, serendipity was on my side as I suddenly spotted a way out of my predicament. I ran ahead as if the devil himself was after me. Bullets were whistling by my ears, but I yes, wasn't sir. about to roll over and die. No I just kept running like there was no tomorrow. Because there wouldn't be if Clanton and his men caught up with me. As I was scurrying around those caves, I thought, what was I thinking? Going up against a gang like this. Run, boy, run. I just kept running, not knowing where the hell I was going. And that's when something miraculous happened. Like mana from heaven. I found the desiccated remains of what looked like an Apache warrior. The old weapon next to him supplied me with some much-needed ammunition. Fat <laughs> Masterson once told me it was more important to be lucky than good, and he would know. Okay, that's it for today.